Namaste to one and all. Today it happens to be auspicious occasion. On this Chandramana Ugadi, I have taken a very small task and uh, this is in connection to the review of book uh, titled Mahan Sadhak, K.C. Detti, Karnataka. This is written by Dr. Ravindranath and uh, this has been uh, reviewed by my uh, senior, uh, the late uh, C.M. Ramchandra, former editor, The Hindu. And this uh, our review has been totally uh, dedicated uh, uh, to Srimati Vasanta Kavita, the first granddaughter-in-law of the first Chief Minister, K.C. Reddy. And since today it happens to be a very auspicious occasion, I felt that there is a need to, to reach this review uh, uh, to the people at large the very correct perspective of uh, K.C. Reddy and this has been reviewed by, by, uh, by uh, the authoritarian uh, who happened to be covering the events of Karnataka for the past 50 years. And uh, in his own words, uh, here I am going to read out uh, his own review. Well, to me, Dr. Ravindranath, a well-researched volume on Princely Mysore's first Chief Minister K.C. Reddy, marks in a large measure relieving the exciting days of my extensive writing coverage of Mr. Reddy, five years stint when I was a principal correspondent representing the Deccan Herald. In fact, my stint with the Deccan Herald was a continuous with Mr. Reddy's. The extensive coverage may run into a several books the professional relationship with him had become a daily affair almost. The author here, Dr. Ravindranath's contribution needs to be highly commended on many accounts. It is a product of research involving patient and painstaking, painstaking labor and concentration in a quest for widely scattered sources of information recorded over a different period and by different persons. Secondly, for the readers, it serves as a bridge between the old time and the contemporary beginning with his association with the freedom movement. The narrative transverses the whole gamut of Kengal Chengal Rairati's political career started with the historical events, both personal and the institutional. The freedom struggle in the, Mice, in the princely Mysore was a subset of the national struggle spearheaded by the Congress party then and for the liberation from the British clutches. The party's birth and its career, the landmark and the triumph and the adversities get the detailed mention by author Dr. Ravindranath. The landmark include the famous super of Congress with Russia persuasion and the police firing, uh, I mean, at the place resulting in the death of estimated 32 persons a similarly like a mini Jalan Walabag incident happened here. The repressive measures adopted during then the administration and the imprisonment of the Satyagrahis, including K.C. Reddy, find a detailed mention in this book. One also gets a picture of long time Reddy's stalwarts, party colleagues with whom he had mounted a freedom movement, at the times attracted the advisory interventions of Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi, who however had a soft corner for a princely order of things in Mysore of those days. Its, its attitude <coughs> to the freedom struggle, though basically tolerant and benevolent, was necessarily conditioned by the dictates of the British imperialism. One would rub one's eye in disbelief to find the royalty itself nurtured the several reforms leading to the progressive involvement of people in the administration. Under the leadership of the Congress party has drawn up a charter of democratic demands and reforms and mass towards democracy. The reform initiatives became eventually the defining moments of elaborative negotiations between Mr. Heger, Mr. K. C. Reddy and the Congress delegation. On one hand, the, uh, uh, and, and then the Divan Arkat Ramswami Modulia, a astute administrator, the negotiations led to the change of heart on a part of royalty, the Mysore royalty, and became a hard beginner, led to the change of heart on part of royalty. 
uh, well, it established the first responsible government, though it had a capital element, but it served as a kind of probation for K. C. Reddy's career as a first chief minister. The author gave a wide treatment for these historical wins. He mentions about the Mysore Chello agitation, September 8, 1947, triggering and hastening the victory, and the Reddy assumed the office on October 14th, 24th, sorry, 1947, as a chief minister. It was only later that he became the full-fledged chief minister of Mysore, which became a part V state after the constitution came into being. The graphic account of Mr. Reddy, his career as a freedom fighter, made his credentials to the chief minister, was excellent. The regime initially was marked for the transition from monarchy to democracy and get the pattern for administration to the succeeding Congress governments. Translation of Gandhian programs was a pre past preoccupation of his government. Any other Kengal Anamante has succeeded KC Reddy as a second chief minister of Mysore state. Well, he was he resigned owing to the party squabbles and later on Kadadal Manjapa took over and the last chief minister of the princely Mysore. Then finally, Mr. Najlingappa took over as a chief minister first Chief Minister of Karnataka after the reorganization of state in 1956. Here, the, the volume is invaluable guide to the students of uh, political science as well as the students of uh, history of Mysore. Its value has been enhanced with the incorporation of collection of rare photographs of times marking important events. If I can quote an instance of Mr. Reddy's solitude to the newspaper reporters, it was an occasion that the banquet was held in the honor of honor in the KGF town, and he postponed the banquet for a while, waiting for the arrival of CM Ramchandra and Mr. Rajara, who happened to represent Prajavan. It, it clearly underlines that he had a great respect uh, and a honor for the, the journalist. The dimples in his cheek made him more enduring as a gentleman politician, a rare among us contemporary tribe, and he moved over to the center politics in a parade after the first general elections in 1952. And this clearly proves uh, that what KC Reddy is. And today, Honorable Chief Minister B. S. Yurapaji, who is in the same place, he happens to be that is second Chief Minister, if I am right. And the first most challenging task that the Honorable B.S. Edurapaji faced was the flood issue and he took it up very sportively. And the second issue which has come now, which is, which is very burning, is a, the corona effect. The entire country has been affected. I hope he has taken all the preventive measures. All the cautions have been taken, a separate war room has been established, a location of 200 crores has been already pumped in. And the entire ministry has been galvanized, the, the bureaucrats have been galvanized, the, the daily regular updates have been going on, disinfectants have been going on, spraying is going on, then uh, the, the, uh, the kits have been distributed, then uh, the mask, the gloves has been given out, given to the needy. And every arrangement has been made and even the shops have been made open 24 hours. And likewise, many, many pro-initiatives have been taken by the Honorable Chief Minister. Uh, but nobody can step into the KC Reddy sir. Apart from that, KC Reddy sir also, he was the first man had a blueprint where the monumental building has come up now. And he had called some Vishweshwaraya, he had called the Krumbigal, the then director of the horticulture. To find out the place which was just opposite to Atta Kacheri, which is right now before Vidhana Sauda. And this place was at a heightened place, and this place was selected by the credit. The entire credit goes to the then Chief Minister K. C. Reddy. And he's the man who, who made a blueprint, and the blueprint was uh, for the first, first floor. And later on, when, K, when Kengal Hanumantaji took over, and he represented the sovereign will of the people, and it was a unique. And both the executive and the legislature was there in a temple architecture. It is called Mysore Neo Dravidian again. And with this, I conclude that K. C. Reddy was the first man 
yeah, the first chief minister also was to lay a blueprint for this monumental building vidhana sauda thank you very much